Hey guys, it's Kelly and I am back with another video. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to stop the flashback foolery in your pictures, how to stop looking ashy in your photos and in real life because I've seen a few people walking around looking a little casket ready, cremation ready. So I'm going to help you prevent that and give you some tips and tricks on how I prevent it so I don't get caught slipping out here in these parks because I know sometimes people take out these camera phones with these flashes and you aren't ready for all of that. So I'm going to help you stay ready so you don't have to get ready all right so first things first I went ahead and primed my face and now I'm using some ColourPop concealer as my eyeshadow base so I'm gonna take you guys through like my whole face today just because this is like one of my go-to looks if I want to put makeup on but I don't know what to wear so I'm using the morphe 35 O palette so this is not the second one this is not the newest one that came out I have been killing that palette so I thought I should go back to the original give it some love because if I spent my money on it I want to use it so I try to keep all my makeup in rotation okay so now I'm taking this reddish brown color in my crease with this fluffy blending brush and I'm using windshield wiper motions to blend that in and I love this color I love this palette really because it's very muted it's not as bright and as bold as the morphe 3502 palette i've gotten a couple questions actually if i like the first one or the second one better and i can't really decide because this one is the same like color range but it's a little bit more muted a little bit more calmed down whereas the 3502 has more bright reddish you know undertones and orange undertones where this one's more for like everyday wear so i really like them both but regardless i'm going in with like a dark brown color and building my outer v and making that a little bit deeper a little bit darker just to elongate my eye I've been doing this a little bit lately and I've been loving how it is coming out on my eye and now I'm taking the NYX jumbo eye pencil in french fries and using my finger to put that on my lid as the base for this color pop color in game face I love this eyeshadow this is one of their like original eyeshadows I think it's one of their more popular ones because it looks good on every skin tone and I like really 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 love it promise you so I'm going in with a clean blending brush and just blending that lid color in with the crease colors and going in with a little bit more of that dark brown because it did get lost when I was adding in that bright gold, like not even gold, it's a copper color from ColourPop. And then I'm going in with a champagne gold color in my inner corner just to be extra because I like to do that, all right? And then I'm going in with some eyeliner and giving myself a little fleeky cat eyeliner, trying to make it as thin as possible. I thought I messed up right there, but I didn't thank the lord and i'm just you know making that line as thin as possible if you guys want a tutorial on it i can try to do that just let me know down below so after i fleek my wing out i'm gonna move on to the face which is why we're all here so this is the first step in preventing flashback and from looking ashy is color correction so if you have hyperpigmentation dark spots whatever you want to call it you have to color correct so this is the la girl pro conceal in orange and i'm putting that underneath my eye and around my mouth where I have some hyperpigmentation and I'm blending that in with my beauty blender so if you have really dark pigmentation you're gonna need a darker color like a darker color corrector so that's just a little tip for you um, but I'm taking this Maybelline fit me foundation and dewy smooth this is one of my favorite favorite foundations of all time and from the drugstore like I really love it if you can't tell I was running out I was trying to scrape the last little bit that I have I need to go to Target and get some more okay so I'm putting that on with my finger and just kind of swiping it on my face just because I'm running low I usually like to dot it and use my beauty blender or a real technique sponge to blend it out but I'm having I'm gonna have to like blend it out with a uh, brush this time around as you can see um, just because it is running low for me but either way you're still gonna have a flawless finish you're still gonna have a really good finish because I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender afterwards and make sure it's blended into my hairline there's no streakiness left over even though this brush is really good and it doesn't usually give me streaks I just like to do it as a precaution because that can look crazy in pictures too it might not necessarily give you a flashback but you can look splotchy in pictures too and if you don't blend well it won't look good okay so make sure you blend really well with your brush and then go ahead with your sponge and blend it out so either way make sure you blend that's the, like the main key of it all all right major key 
So if I didn't mention it already, all the products I'm using are going to be down below in the description box. And they're also going to be for the low low. So all the products I'm using are from the drugstore or super affordable. So go ahead and check down there if you want to see everything I am using. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. I know you want to see more videos from your girl in the future. So go ahead and do that. All right. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I am going ahead and highlighting with my ColourPop concealer and contouring using this black opal contour stick. So this is important in preventing flashback too. So you do not want to take concealer that is too light and you do not want to take a contour color that is too gray of an undertone either because gray undertones can give you a super bad flashback and if you have a light light concealer that would definitely give you a bad flashback. So your contour color is supposed to be a gray undertone but if you take a contour color that is too dark or too gray for your skin tone it will give you a flashback. It will look a little creamy casket ready you get what I'm saying so make sure you pick a good contour color for your skin tone it's just as important as picking a good color of concealer even though concealer is a little bit more important I might say that I lied picking a concealer color is more important because sometimes people are walking out the house with concealers that are five shades lighter than their skin tone and that is not okay you do not want to go more than three shades lighter than your skin tone because if you go too light on your concealer you will have flashback regardless regardless like regardless so I am blending out that concealer just using my beauty blender as you can see and then I'm going to set that concealer using the makeup revolution loose setting powder from Ulta so this powder is super affordable it's like eight dollars and I am using the terracotta color I am not using that banana color so if you are of darker skin tones if you're medium dark dark color you need to take this one to set your concealer it will still give you a highlight but it will not leave you looking crazy or having a huge flashback okay so get the right color loose powder that's very important I really like this one a lot so I'm taking it with my beauty blender and setting that underneath my eye I couldn't get an even application because I was using the cap as like my you know place where I put the powder I wish I had like a plate or something bigger so make sure you put that powder on as even as possible and now I'm using the Maybelline fit me powder in dark and cleaning up underneath my line so it's not as bright as the terracotta powder I'm also using that terracotta powder to set my uh, t-zone area too I forgot to do it earlier so now I'm taking this BH cosmetics multi-purpose brush that I love and I'm just knocking off that excess loose powder so like I said I was using the cap as like where I had the powder to apply it to my face and it kind of gave me a little bit uneven application so if you have an uneven application just knock off that excess loose powder immediately because you don't want your face to set with that loose powder in a odd place because if it you apply it odd it sets odd it will look odd in pictures it will look odd when you're walking out the house so make sure you knock it off before it completely sets because you don't want to really bake either because if you bake too long that will also leave you looking ashy and give you a flashback okay so now I am contouring my face while my loose powder sets and I'm using the black radiance contour kit in the darkest shade and I'm just using that to bronze my face contour my face bring some color back do all of those things and I'm just using that to bring the dimension back to my nose not really contour and now I'm adding some blush this is the NYX blush in mauve and out I love this blush it is so pretty you can build it up to be like nighttime dramatic but you can also like put it on light enough for it to be like for everyday wear like it's amazing and this is the city colors uh bronzer it's like five dollars they sell city colors at five below if you have one of those near you but I am highlighting my face using that and this highlighter you can also put it on for everyday wear or build it up for nighttime and more dramatic so I love products like that where you can build it up to be like for duo use you don't have to have two different products you know what I'm saying so I'm going in with my face powder to set everything so this is important too to prevent flashback this is just blending everything in this is setting my foundation this is making sure everything is seamless and flawless and everything just blends together like it's like my skin you know look as natural as possible you know what I'm trying to say y'all and making sure it doesn't move either okay so now I'm moving on to the lips so I'm using this NYX lip liner this is in the color hot cocoa and I'm kind of lining my lips and then blending that down into my lips making like you know fading it a little bit into my lips making a little bit thicker of a line because I don't want it to be like a dramatic lining of the lips you get what I'm saying and then I'm going in with my lipstick and putting that 
on and making sure I'm using the wand to go over the liner because like I said I want it to be blended and then I'm using my finger to blend that in and then I'm going back into the eyes to finish off the face and I am using those same colors I used in my crease and in my outer V to smoke out the bottom of my eye to create some balance to make it a little bit more sultry smoky you know all of those words and I'm just blending that in and then I am going back in with that champagne gold color in my inner corner because I was kind of got faded and I like to be a little bit extra so you know I had to add a little bit more and then I'm going in with some black cold liner from NYX in my waterline just to you know make a little bit darker I wasn't going to do it at first but I had to because I'm extra y'all I can't never just be a little bit I have to do like everything if I'm going to do it I need to do it you know so now I'm adding some mascara this is the last sensational from Maybelline so my best friend just told me about this a couple of weeks ago and I love this mascara like I have not seen a Maybelline mascara that has not been good like for real but anyways I am setting my face using this hard canning setting spray and that is the end of this look guys I hope you enjoyed it so this is how I prevent the flashback foolery how I prevent looking ashy and casket ready I hope this helped you if it did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later stay colorful deuces bye